I'm back with another video. Today we have YouTuber Serious Moments. Now, why when I click on a video, he was nowhere to be found. But as soon as I click on, he's the first thing. I cannot avoid this man. He keep popping up in my videos. Again, this man, he never did anything to me up to this point, but bother my eyes. You do that, I have to speak about you at that point. It's the equal, your opposite reaction. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Sonic. Wendy's. Burger King. Taco Bell. And to top it all off, you got the, the plastic container sitting on the pizza. It's people out there that starve and they just want two of these chicken fries. Why is you on here trolling them? Eat, eating for 30 people. You got two necks. I know you got at least a third neck underneath that crew neck. Hurry up and get this man off my screen. Okay, so the first serious moment that we're going to talk about here is from the mukbang YouTuber, Nikocado Avocado. Pretty much everybody here knows who he is, and a lot of us can also see that throughout his content, he plays this exaggerated version slash character of himself. But at the beginning of one of his mukbang videos in fact Let me paint this Picasso for you. And be honest with yourself in the comment section you view this. Imagine you spawn here on Earth, and this so happened to be your father. How you feel? It couldn't have been me, but hypothetically speaking, if it is, I'm born here at that point, Lucifer on crucifix. I'm converted. I'm the devil at that point. And that's my, my arc story of how I became the bad guy. Imagine you spawn through him. You will suffer of your father's doings. You will inherit, inherit everything about him through epigenetic memory. So if he cringy, he lame, he stink, he ugly, whatever, you're going to inherit it. Imagine that you spawn here and this your Superman. Can he protect you? Not pay for security, no real provision. If it go back to traditional ways of providing and protecting, can he? No. You know he's going to just... You know how you running on Grand Theft Auto and you punch somebody in the back of the head and he just land on the ground till he disappear? He's one of those. It's nothing he can do to help you. Imagine that you born here with that deck of cards. Get this man off my screen. But at the beginning of one of his mukbang videos in February, he decided to have this speech where he broke character and talked about the nuances of what he does online. This has been the greatest social experiment I've come to know. It's alluring to observe disoriented beings roam the internet in search of... Now, the next moment that we got here has to do with Logan Paul. I'm one of Mike Malak's... Matter of fact, I'm not done with you. We all seem to have this. You want to know what's so funny about it? The kicker, what I'm about to talk about. Someone, a lot of someones are going to agree with me. And they so oblivious that they are in the circumferences. They are a part of the group of what I'm talking about, which is the populace, the mass majority. We seem to see, okay. Um, okay, it could be Nick Avocado. We got millions of subscribers. Millions of people like to see him eat. Don't get it. Jeffrey Dahmer had fans. It's a lot of Jeffrey Dahmers out here that's yet to be apprehended as well. We don't get it. We don't understand it. Therefore, we stand under it. Rightfully so. So, it can be Taylor Swift. I'm just, anything, a pop-up tab that pop up. Anything I can think of. I seen the video too not that long ago. She dancing on stage with her tongue out with no rhythm. I got spectator, first-hand and third-person embarrassment watching it. Cringed out, like, X, like. And then you got a lot of people in the comment section like, I don't get why people, is she so plain, plain and just not appealing and you got to look outside that, okay? Scale one to 10. A, a default skin is five. That's average. That means you're not ugly, but you're not pretty. You're not cute either. You feel me? Wouldn't you agree that most people are below a five in looks and beauty or whatever? Wouldn't you also agree on that same scale that most people cannot dress? They don't know what's good music. 
they don't have good posture archetype player build they not in shape they can't even think for themselves the media is what tell them what to think and they go out and do and they have distraction wouldn't you agree right okay okay most people are beneath that five in every facet of life okay and then you wonder why these people get attention like that because the mass majority is swagless npcs anyway that's watching them that's paying with attention energy currency that's the answer ladies and gentlemen if you never if you couldn't come up with it you couldn't figure it out or you couldn't verbalize it that's literally the answer if you looking like bro this is they just talentless and it's it's cringy and odd and weird and that's the answer the majority they they watch and go to what they identify with and most people are those i'm being honest if you feel some type weight when you see me irl put your hands up i'm like steve fox i'm ready to go trust me you will not win and i said that nicely i could have been an asshole about it but i'm being honest most people that's why i see why people watch this and people listen to this and they this popular and that's why that's the answer to it swagless npcs now the next moment that we got here has to do with logan paul you on one welcome. of mike malag's vlogs that's the answer. mike and logan were just chilling outside when <laughs> right random guy up. came up to them link can go across swear that's the truth what you say hey, you got the wrong guy nah you famous look how you dress you got scars on your shirt kicks <laughs> what the f is that? Where's the fan? You are You're the fan, fan bro. Look at you standing around us. You the guy I'm waiting for my Uber. What are you even saying? Huh? Yo, you're the fat French Montana. <laughs> now, as that happened at the beginning of the year, Logan's new business partner in Prime, KSI, also has some stuff go down later on. As when in August, when he was set to face two boxing opponents on the same night, the day of the weigh-ins came by and after everyone did their thing, one of KSI's previous opponents, Joe Weller, came about and tried to post up to him. Oh, he's walking in now. Oh, he's getting mad now. Oh, oh, my leg though. My leg though. Oh, my leg though. And Joe Weller's rampage didn't end there. He even then went on to get into it with KSI's editor, Mo Saeed. He's right behind me, but that's the reason you're in the cyber. That's it. That is what it is. And those confrontations with Joe wouldn't be the only ones that KSI and his team would see. Just recently when JJ was done observing the weigh-ins for his Misfits Boxing 003 event, the notorious combat sports personality slash fighter Dylan Dennis will pull up and come face to face with KSI. Dylan hey, Dennis good, in the building? How you doing? It's not, yeah, I'm doing? looking small I'm in person, no, bro. I'm excited. Yeah, no, I'm excited. You guys sign the contract right now. <laughs> Just stop. Yeah. I know I see it. I still might do MMA. I still may. Who knows what the future holds, but IRL. I, all I ask is don't get in my personal space. Whether you potentially comp or over that, or I know I'll whip your ass, I'm not being selective about it. I'm I'm pushing the same same line, the same the same medium to everybody, showing everybody the same benefit of the doubt, benefit of the doubt, benefit of the doubt. Why I'm sounding like what the. F I'm showing everybody the same leniency. Say what you want. I agree with the amendments. Voice and verbalize your opinion and what you think. I'm not going to stick around and if, if it's a deb I'm, I don't argue with females or a guy. I don't do that. I'm just going to. What would James Bond do? He's going to walk away and do him. Okay, now you get up in my circumference, my personal space. Then I'm going to break your arm. So all I just don't get in my personal space. You can say whatever you want. Just like I can say whatever I want if I so choose to distribute some energy of verbally destroying your ass with everything that pertains to you, witty and very fast. But I'm not, more than likely, I'm not going to sit around and have no argument. So I'm just going to, but if you get in my personal space, I'm going to, I'm going to headbutt your ass like Naruto, the Agara. But. I, again, I get this. The standoffs. That's how you sell and get the hype up. That's how you sell tickets and all that you get in each other. That's the only way somebody is going to possibly be in my face, bro. Is if I'm doing MMA or boxing or something. And it's to say, even then, so I can't imagine. Like, you know, the guy just had his forehead on the guy head. Oh, yeah, Let me choke you out right here. 
No, I don't, you don't need to. No, yeah. But I can knock you out if I want to. Yeah, do it right now. Well, right now. Do that right now. Do a little slap. Yeah, no more. Somebody, what the fuck they throw on KSI? A uh, Starbucks coffee? What the fuck? Do I have a one? Yeah, do it right now. Well, right Let's now. Let's not do that right do now. Do a little okay. slap. Yeah, no more. Let's Let's do it. Go. You feel like it was easy to throw a drink at KSI? Oh, yeah, it looked like he hit his ass with a... A chocolate coffee oh. or shit. Oh. Oh. Nah, kill me, bro. Yeah, off the building. Off the building. <laughs> <laughs> Splashed his ass. <laughs> Hi, we're visible. The wireless company Yo. makes things visible. With us, what you see is. Just hit his ass with a Starbucks coffee. And with that beef stirring up and then it leading to a full on brawl between <laughs> Dylan's team and Anthony Taylor outside, KSI on the following day would announce that Dylan Dennis will be his next opponent and they will come face to face once again in the ring. Look at me in my eyes! Look at me in my eyes, bro! Look at me! No one trains as hard as me! No one is as good as me! When it comes to this, the YouTube scene, bro, it's all me! It's all me! KSI, use a goddamn lie. We did say the YouTube saying. Even then, so you still lying. I do this shit, it's over. Juggernaut, it's literally over. If I do this shit and I take this shit serious, whether I go to MMA or if I go to boxing. If I go box, I want to do the real thing. I don't want to do no influencer boxing. No. Just want to jump in different avenues and, and conquer shit. That's what I want to do. Like, I don't gonna reduce me to an influencer boxing i'll start with it though I, i'll start with one of those but i would want to do the real thing though same thing with mma it's all me yeah yeah you'll see bro you'll see, we'll see. You'll see. You'll see. staying in the realm of youtube boxing we then also saw ksi's good friend gib take on the ace family patriarch yeah. austin mcbroom in a match but before that would happen some tense moments will go down in the lead up to their fight yeah you're gonna be right gonna here just like this you're gonna be right here you're gonna be right yeah, you're gonna be right here you're gonna be right here you're gonna be Watch out, bro. Mm, come, man, come, watch out. Guys, 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 I'm getting I'm getting embarrassed. I feel like I feel like I got caught with my pants down or something. I'm getting spectator mode embarrassment from from watching this. I don't believe it. You're not s selling to who? Cuz I ain't buying. You're not selling. I'm getting cringed out watching this. See it though. You going to see it though. You going to see it though. Saturday I hope you bring your thing. I hope you bring your and that's when you get knocked out and as we all saw their match in the way give knocking austin out in the fourth round now the next serious moments that we got <laughs> talking about knocking somebody out and then got knocked out that's embarrassing bro out here have to do with one of the biggest youtubers that came up this year jadeon with first mentioning how in january he had gotten into some beef with pokemane when he told his oh yeah let's go back yeah um what's he at Shout out to Pokemon. I love Pokemon. Yeah. I mean, if you're a broke boy, then say that. I fuck with her. I don't care if you don't forgive her. I forgive her. I love her. I like her. Yeah. Sorry, Jideon. I'm rocking with Pokemon on this one. Shit. Main <laughs> when he told his Twitch audience to essentially go and harass her stream, which it all then ended with Jideon getting banned from the platform. Pokemane would go on a stream of hers to talk about the situation and would not only just call out Jideon's actions, but also mention another Twitch streamer's. It ain't just her looks either, it's her energy name which was ninjas and this was because ninja had previously made it seem like that he tried to get jd on unbanned by sending out a text to a twitch representative and when pokemon was talking about that situation she then received a dm from ninja on twitter I can't. 
Like, I'm literally gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw, like... I don't want to be intimidated behind the scenes anymore. Please, leave me alone, please! Like, I've never been the first to go public about something like this. I'm doing this because, like, I don't want to hold all this, like, stress and anxiety from people saying stuff to me behind the scenes. Like, you're making a big mistake. This never happened. Like, just leave me alone, please. Or say you didn't mean it and move on. Like, that would be fine. Kimberly said you are making a big mistake by being honest about what happened. This led to both Ninja and Pokemane not being fans of each other anymore, but on the other hand, later on, Pokemane and Jideon actually ended up squashing their own beef, and are now friends still to this day. Jideon will continue to post on YouTube like the usual, messing with people and getting a rice out of some like this GameStop employee. I just don't want to play games, so have a great day. You don't want to play games, but we're in GameStop. Harvard Professor. God, that's so funny. <laughs> professor! This bowling lady. You are... Hold on, what the... So you're stop. Harvard professor. God, that's so funny. <laughs> professor! This bowling lady. You are not him. You are not him. These Tommy Innit stands. We are so pissed off at you. Among many others. But none will get as mad as when Gideon messed with this sin mall artist here. He's on the phone right now. Right, get off the desk right now. Get off the desk right now. Get a real job, dude. Why don't you go and do something a bit more constructive? I'm an artist just like you, bro. Nah, you're not, man. You're not. Oh, you know what? Let's have an art off. All right, dude. I've told you like four times. Get off that chair. This is a place of business. This is not your chair. If you don't get out of here right now, you're really going to regret it, man. Like, really, get out of that chair. Why can't right we just now. have an art off? Get out of the chair <laughs> right now. Now, you're gonna let me draw these people? Right or now. You're gonna sit here and bug people all day long? No, you can draw them. All here, right. I'll get out you your go way. behind this rope again and you'll be updated, right? Dude, I have told you. <laughs> you that paper again. I just I'll wanna fight the paper. Up, all right? I'll mess you up. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Yo. Rockstar, you got one. I know for your upcoming game, Rockstar, I mean GTA 6, you need to go and get pedestrians with the distinct sounds and all that and just have them say random shit. He said he's going to mess you up. That's funny as hell. You need to get him to do a voiceover. I don't know why that's the protagonist. Why you ain't put me in the game? That character is not better than me at all. I don't care who did it. We wanted another, well, G... CJ from San Andreas ain't fucking with me. Why I can't be in a game, bro? Put me in a game. You can put me in there free of charge. Or at least put the face scans on there so I can have my own character. I don't want to have... Let's continue. Right now, I've told you four or five times, stop touching the desk, stop touching the paper. <laughs> I'm gonna mess you up. Get out of here, no. go back Get out of here, no. The security would then arrive and then the artist would tell him what was going on and then actually end off that conversation with a relatively generous request for the security. I've told him at least seven times to get out from behind the desk and he won't listen. Okay. If you get out to ask him, just even not ask for him out here, just let me draw my customers in peace. Well, I sitting on the desk, well, I come in and left in my paper. Hey, man, I'm sorry I distracted you, bro. Dude, don't talk to me. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Gideon, taken aback from the artist's generosity of not having him get kicked out, would then show some Ew, kindness nah. back when he would return to the art station with a nice tip. I appreciate you not getting us kicked out, so I'm going to just leave this right here. Um, no, man, no, 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 no. Dude, it's okay. I apologize for earlier, man. Uh, dude, You're no, the better no, artist. Man, I feel bad, man. You're the better artist, bro. What was it? What are you filming for? Oh, I'm just trying to get my art on, bro. I'm trying to be like you. Bro, I'm trying to be just like you, man. I'm trying to be an artist. Man, that's for you, man. Thank you. Dude, it's all good. Please take that back. No, no, it's all you. Put it down there. But hey, man, it's all you, bro. Appreciate Dude, you. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, no, it's all good. It's all good. Then a few months later in another video, Jideon would show that he had befriended the artist, and then they would have an art off for a wholesome video on the Jideon channel. And as if all of that wasn't enough to put a smile on your face, Jideon would then go out of his way to help support the artist. Yeah, why am I smiling? What the fuck? That's the human nature psychology thing. I need to change those settings because I changed the rest of my settings. Like, why am I smiling? Like, what the fuck? That was dope, though. He said he's going to mess you up. Oh, yeah. I'm, I work with Rockstar. I'm putting him in the office. Say them lines again the same way. Till you get it right, buddy. The artist and his family. We need a classic. Him $5,000. How many kids do you guys have? Two. He's got a nine-year-old and a three-year-old. Nine-year-old, three-year-old. 
Yeah, I want to give you five thousand dollars just so you can do your no, thing. No, 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 I can't take that. That's no, crazy. no, of course I got you. I got you. Dude, are you serious? I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm the Black Mr. Beast. <laughs> I'm the Black Mr. Beast. <laughs> What's wrong oh, with Gideon, bro? It's all good. It's all good. Gideon, although he messes around with people in his videos and also has fun on his YouTube streams with his community, he at times does open up to his viewers and has these passionate moments happen. Y'all mean the world to me, bro. I love you guys. And I'm a, bro, I'm gonna go crazy for y'all, bro. I love you guys. <laughs> y'all changed my life, man. Y'all changed my life, bro. Even after like the like hype dial down and stuff like that, it's like bro, I still have millions of boys still rocking with me every day. Well, guess what, Dad? Not bad. I just hit five million today. Alright, bro. Congratulations, you dog. Thank you, Dad. Well, you couldn't tell me. <laughs> I hit five million subscribers, mom. Well, congratulations. I said I wasn't gonna cry, bro. Well, thank you guys are from the the bottom, bottom. Take a photo. Bottom, bottom of my heart, bro. Like, I cannot thank you guys enough, man. And kind of switching gears to another YouTuber slash streamer uh, that was on the big come up. I said no on that. Okay, okay. Month this year, we also had Kaisen at Rice rapidly on Twitch, where when the months of September came by, he had reached the milestone of 80,000 subscribers, which easily then made him the most subscribed to English speaking streamer on Twitch. And when this notable milestone was reached, Kai's mom called him up on the phone and then had this emotional moment with him. Babe, I'm so proud of you, you number one, and you my son, and I'm so happy to be your mom. And on that same stream later on, Kai will use this platform to call out Twitch for never acknowledging him or any of his fellow streamers that were doing big things in his community. Yo, Twitch, there's not one time I've seen anybody in my community on the f***ing front page of your platform, bro. I don't care if it's not me. I haven't seen not one person in my community on the f***ing front page of y'all platform. It's deeper than what it is, bro. They don't want to recognize real. Let this be a message, bro. Yo, Twitch, there's no reason why. There's nobody on the front page of y'all platform, bro. Twitch ended up finally acknowledging Kai in the future, so it seems like his call out did well for him and his community there. And for the final moments of the... <sighs> yeah, um, that's that's been a thing. You gotta think. The CEO and the people... That's a position down from that, that the guy employed. Who knows? They may have a vision for their company. We're not going to act like they don't. And they have a business. They have a business and they show, how can I put this? I, but like how he felt about them not, it ain't even a matter of him felt. No, it was relevant and it's real. Ah, uh, that's where it get tricky. I hate get, um, feel like he finally got there because he reached his milestone and you forced to acknowledge him. If you don't, you're going to have someone breathing down your motherfucking neck, a bunch of his fans, a bunch of fans in general. Like, why aren't you such and such? So he's just trying to do what's best for the brand. But for real, idealistically, without all that, you think they want. Let's be honest. You think they want to put colored people as there? They don't, bro. You can be, bro, you can be, I don't even want to tell you what you can't do, but you can be the most up and coming, talented person of color or whatever, because you're not black, which is void of color, and you're not African American, which is two continents. It's a misnomer. So if you don't go with black, African American, what you going to say you, what the world going to call you still? They're going to call you one of the two. No matter how talented you is, you will never equate to a Mr. Beast. They numbers, PewDiePie, it's no coincidence, Mike. It's no Sele Wanka. It's no coincidence at all, Mike. It reverts back to what I say, my words. They perceptionalize us in a light that isn't in favor of us to what people have the preconceived notions of us due to how they depicted us and how they advertise us. And people perceive it to be they intended them to see it. That's why people have their installation, they programming. 
some people consciously as well as subconsciously you just don't look like nothing they are watching click on so that they won't ever give you a shot and they click on what's the smiley face or what resonate with them and whatever you just a different archetype and a different energy it's going to take it's going to take it's going to take people to die off that way of thinking that installation that programming that this is normal and this is edgy and it ain't normal yet uh because people already got they preconceived notions due to how we depict it so that's why if you never was able to verbalize it and trying to figure out what's going on why can't nobody get nine diamond plat nine diamond records like post them alone you're not born with the settings to win to that magnitude it don't matter how talented you is it just it's not it's not that time it's going to take people to die off and it be and you still not be pushed in this light from whether it's whatever forms of entertainment or crime whatever they pushing so yeah that's that's what it is if you was never able to verbalize what is it i know it's something but i can't articulate what it is and how and that's that's what it is guys if you ever wanted to know told bro and them they had the they had one of the, everybody like all of them right there had that look on their face like he ain't even say nothing he just high five me like like yo i've been trying to like i ain't how to say this but and i don't want it to sound like to what somebody can you get what i'm getting at like that's that's really what it is but it don't matter how talented you is you will never be a pewdiepie or mr beast you got that let's continue this video we got some mr beast now mr beast videos are usually a beats fast pace and have that positive energy all around them so it's very rare to see something serious go down in his uploads but on his i didn't eat food for 30 days video we did have this one moment take place where the ch and again it's not to say you can't win you can win you just can't to that magnitude they'll let you obtain certain amount of money or whatever uh, but it's certain things you cannot do they will not, not let you buy your own what's the thing cosby was trying to buy it's just certain things they won't let you do they won't let you obtain that kind of power and that kind of control over what you can organize and bring forth better for your people even what nick cannon was trying to do it's like he got a lot of power he got a lot of money but it's certain things uh uh uh, uh not <laughs> they're not gonna let you get it we're not gonna act like we don't see it we see it so yeah, you can win it's just levels you can't until programming die off the people with that programming that that, that make up of the, the the majority is going to take for their perception to shift and change and them just be open to and then we really see because some of these if you just change their settings mean they biological makeup and they who they they'll be a tr a billion times bigger than what they already are that's the way things are it is what it is no complaints it's the truth though i'm just saying challenge was evidently getting to him it's been 12 days since i ate food and the day even though mr bc is a different kind of beast he's not just a regular youtuber like he it only got worse from there i was so nauseous that i couldn't film for more than 20 minutes without sitting down for a break oh my god i'm gonna throw up at one point i almost scrapped the chocolate really factor video because i was so low energy and the last set of serious moments that we had here for Mr. Beast came from this Colin and Samir video, where in it they took us behind the scenes of Mr. Beast opening up the first physical location of his restaurant, Mr. An off Beast day. Burger. This opening brought thousands of people to the location where they came in to show support for Mr. Beast and also wanted to get a chance to meet the guy himself and take photos with him. And in the midst of all of this, with the crazy attendance, the task of Mr. Beast getting to everybody started to weigh in on everyone, including the main man himself. You're not going to be able to take pics with 10,000 people today. Maybe it was so. going to come to 10. I don't know. I need people thinking. Can help me. The expectation was not that you were taking pictures with everyone to say this. Okay, well, I want this wasn't a meet I want the pastors that we were I want them happy. I want them happy. I want them. People are happy. Oh, okay. I don't know if they're happy. After they take the photos, we move them out of here. Why are we allowing them to linger? Yeah, I know. The only issue is the merch store is right there. Why is there a merch store? Come on. Well, I'm just saying. Like, they, they Get rid of it. Give it to them for free. I don't care. Am I speaking to the rich? Absolutely like not. Like, it yeah. needs to be. That needs if you take a photo you're out you're I, i've said that thirty thousand times yeah but i think they need to get the security guards now involved in the end, everything seemed to have gone great, and Mr. Beast was able to do something incredible once again. And with that, that'll do it for this video. This was part one of this year's YouTuber Serious Moments. Part two will come out sometime before the end of- 
Shout out to Mr. Beast, though. I scan them. It's about archetypes. And you're going to fall under one of the two umbrellas. The majority will fall under both umbrellas, meaning we're all conditioned and programmed with programming. That's how you're conscious and aware of a program. And the other one is just human nature. And you psych, you know psychology and you can pick up on things. So, yeah, I can scan, I can scan him. I can tell that nah, he's really a good person. He's really a good person, and he really want to make people smile and make the best content possible. So that's one thing I do pick up from him. You know, some people that's out here that's just, and they really feel some type of way, and they tweet out something, and then they had deleted because the heat coming on, and they just issue out statements to protect their face, safe face and brand. And you know, a lot we we seen these people. It could be some that's just up here. You thinking they a good role model, but behind closed doors, they doing some things you would not believe. I don't feel like he's one of those, Mr. Beast. I don't feel like he's one of those. I feel like he real life want to help make people smile, make the best content. What family if he ain't already got one and want to do what's normal, picket fence, kids, dog, and do it there. I, that's what I pick up from him. I don't pick up no, and I'm very great at detecting that what you are. Some people be like, you don't know me. Yes, I do. I know human nature. I know psychology. I subconsciously know psychology as well. I know you fall underneath this program and of what we've been subjected to. Whether we don't relate to one another or you watch different things growing up and listen to different music, nonetheless, I seen that archetype. I know what you are. It's nothing special, buddy. Some of you ain't even gonna know what I'm talking about, but that's it for this video. Don't forget to like the video. It's the last video today. Comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, DM me the link via X, formerly known as Twitter. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick, and Rumble. Before we start rumbling, I kick your ass and you end up twitching. Nah, though, shout out to everybody in the shout out to shout out to everybody. Us versus them. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.